follow along with this little video short, you can visit the GitHub link uh, below and download the code. We have some setup instructions on the actual uh, README for the repository. And then, you can, and then you can code along with this demonstration. So we're gonna take a look at how we can optimize the re-rendering of a component uh, using the callback hook. So for example, you'll see that we've got this application here. If you actually start it up, we'll say npm start, and this will fire up the application. It should open up uh, in your default web browser. And so here we have this very simple little application here that allows us to basically add, edit, and delete cars. And uh, we can come in here and click this edit button, and you'll notice when we click edit, it'll go to edit mode, click cancel, it goes back to um, read-only mode. So coming over to here, scroll down, you'll see we have this car form component, which is underneath the car table component. So let's actually come over to car form here real quick. And inside of here, we're going to put a little console log. There we go. And we'll just have it say rendering car form each time this car form component function is called. So if we come back over here and open up our developer tools, we'll go to console. And let's zoom in a little bit there. So now if we come into here and click edit, I want you to watch what happens. I click edit, it rendered the car form again. Now nothing actually changed in the car form, but it re-rendered it because it re-rendered the, the parent component app, which of course not only renders app itself as well as the table, but renders any other components underneath of it, including in this case, car form. So there's car form. So what could we do to actually improve the performance of this and only render car form when something is actually changing and being passed into car form? Well, we could use something like the MIMO function. So for example, we could come into here and say MIMO, and then we could wrap this in our MIMO function. And as you know from previous videos, with the MIMO function, it will only re-render when we change the incoming props. It's a shallow comparison, but as long as you pass the same primitive values or the same object references, it will only re-render when, when, when changed values are passed in. Well, if we come into here and reload this, though, watch what happens. It still rendered it again. How come? It rendered it because while we're not changing this button text at all, if you notice over here in app, our button text is actually hard-coded to add car. The culprit here is the append car for the on submit. You see, each time we actually call this app function, it's actually producing a brand new append car function, which is a new object reference. And then that new object reference is being passed in causing the MIMO to think something has changed, and then of course, re-rendering the component. That's where the callback hook comes in. What we can do is say use callback, and what this will do is basically remember the previous callback function. And then so it'll use the previous callback function as opposed to always producing a new one. So we'll take use callback here, and we'll wrap it around this function here, and we'll save that. And we're going to come into here. All right, now, this array is going to represent um, dependencies that we might be working with, dependencies that might cause a need for this callback function to be updated. So for example, the dependency here that we're working with is actually the array of cars is what it's actually complaining about here. So we could come into here and say cars, and then we could save that. Now come back over to here. Now watch what happens. When we click edit, you'll see it did not re-render car form. Click cancel, it doesn't re-render car form. Now if we come in here and add a car, you'll see the rendering car form changes. And now if I click add car, there you can see it rendered it again. But it's only gonna re-render car form if you're typing into it or if the actual underlying array of cars has actually changed. Mm -hmm.